Everyone loves the word automate these days. It's kind of like you click a button and poof, all of your problems disappear. But anyone that's actually created workflows knows it's a little bit more like you click a button and then you try something, and you fix it, and you click a button again, and you test it again, and you fix it. Maybe it works sometimes. I'm Jeff from Nougat. I've spent a lot of time interviewing ServiceNow candidates, and I've learned that how you talk about ServiceNow is just as important as what you know about it. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to talk about workflows in an interview. So you sound clear and confident, and like you've got a lot of experience creating workflows. So chances are the interviewer is not going to come right out and say, how does ServiceNow automate workflows? It's a little too formal. You'll probably hear something like, tell me about your experience building workflows in ServiceNow. Maybe share an example that worked really well. Or they might ask, can you walk me through a workflow you automated and explain how you approached it? What they're really looking for isn't just whether you've used Flow Designer. They want to understand how you think about automating work, whether you grasp the logic behind it. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about in this video. We'll break down how to discuss your experience with workflows, even if it's just something that you've done in training, and explain it in a way that makes sense to the interviewer. And as we go along towards the end, I'm going to give you clear examples of how to do that. Okay, let's start by reviewing some workflow basics that you're going to want to have fresh in your mind. First, remember that a workflow is just the path that work takes to get done. Nothing complicated. It's simply the steps that move something from requested to completed. Think about something like onboarding a new employee. A request comes in. It's approved. Tasks get assigned and equipment gets delivered and someone closes it out. That chain of events is the workflow. ServiceNow's job is to take processes like this that used to live in emails and spreadsheets and on sticky notes and bring them all together into a structured process that everyone can see and rely on. And under the hood, every workflow, no matter how complex, really comes down to three things. First, when something should happen. This is the trigger or the condition. Maybe a record's created or a field changes or a priority shifts. ServiceNow watches for those moments. Second, what needs to happen? These are the actions. Maybe it's creating tasks or sending approvals or updating fields, branching the logic or notifying someone. This is what you build in Flow Designer. It's the logic of the process. And third, who needs to be involved? ServiceNow looks at the record that kicked everything off, the requester, the assignment group, maybe the department, and it routes work and notifications automatically to include the right people. And if you keep those three ideas in mind, the when, the what, and the who, you'll explain workflows like someone who understands the logic behind them, not someone who's just clicking their way through the tool. Now let's pull this all together into how you might actually answer this question in your next interview. A workflow is really just the set of steps that work goes through from the moment it's requested until it's completed. ServiceNow gives you the tools that you need to make that automatic. Tools like Flow Designer that make it easy to lay out those steps visually and to find when something needs to happen, what action needs to be taken, and who needs to be involved. Once you've got that logic in place, the platform handles the rest. Then add your own experience. For example, I built an onboarding flow that created IT tasks, requested manager approvals, and notified new hires when everything was ready. And working through that helped me see how all these pieces fit together, like the triggers and the conditions and the actions. How little automation can remove a lot of manual back and forth. And if you don't yet have a lot of real world experience, just be honest and show them that you've done something. I've been practicing in my personal developer instance, building simple flows for things like approvals and notifications. It's a great way to get hands-on with Flow Designer and see how the logic plays out. And if you haven't done that yet, seriously, go do it. It'll all click into place quickly once you've started doing some experimenting. And then wrap it all in value because that's what takes a good answer and makes it a great one. The real value is how much smoother everything runs. People aren't just chasing status updates and emails aren't getting lost and everyone can actually see where things stand. That's what automation really delivers, visibility consistency and speed. 
So that's how you talk about workflows in an interview, clearly and confidently and as though you really understand what's kind of going on in the background. And I've got to say, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't tell you this. If you're trying to land your first ServiceNow role, one of the first steps you should be taking is getting certified. The Certified System Administrator or CSA certification is a great first step. It's one of the first things interviewers look for because it shows you actually know your way around the platform. You can back up what you're saying. I've put together two resources that'll make your certification prep a whole lot easier. First, the CSA Study Companion eBook. It's free and it breaks down the core ServiceNow CSA topics. Things like tables and forms, lists and workflows and automation in plain English so you can actually understand how the platform works. You can grab it at nougat.com slash CSA ebook. And if you want to go deeper, check out the CSA Masterclass in Prep Hub. It walks you through the platform step by step with lessons, demos, and practice questions that not only help you pass the exam, but also help you nail these interview questions with real understanding and confidence. You'll find it at nougat.com slash CSA Masterclass Prep Hub. See the URL below. And if you've been enjoying this video series, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll continue to tackle these common ServiceNow interview questions until you feel like you're ready to crush your next ServiceNow interview. In the meantime, thanks for watching this video. You've got this. I'll see you in the next one.